G'day homesteaders, I just wanted to welcome you into the uh, garage, it's just a bit of a <laughs> bit of a bomb scene really, okay I got three doors that I bought from for 30 bucks I got seven doors from uh, Dundeal here in Ireland you can see the place is still in need of a lot of work before you can call this a garage look at that my god how much work has to be done or well, plenty really um, I put some shelves up so I'm uh, and I've got a nice very nice uh, sort of bench over here in the middle I just put up a couple of saw horses and then started loading all my wood onto it as you can see and then I'm just using that as a table not very efficient and not the really the way to do things properly uh, so I'm going to be moving a lot of things around. In the meantime, I just wanted to show you some wood that I'm going to be working with today. And uh, yeah, of course I can still work on it even in this limited space. There's an old, uh, I think it's a, called a mechanics pit in the middle of the garage here. And all it is is a rubbish pit now because it fills with water in winter and that's just no bloody good so there's no point emptying it out if it fills up with water um, so this is where I do my work and I just wanted to show you as well when it comes to buying wood uh, I mean you know I'm kind of new to buying raw timber uh, I did used to get wood uh, when I was in I uh, when I was in Austria but I'd go and pick that wood by hand so I'd know exactly what I'm getting here because of the uh, the virus and COVID and everything I've had to um, basically order everything online and the funny thing is when you order online too that the the measurements and things could be a little confusing uh, and sometimes you might overdo it or underdo it with the wood but the thing I wanted to mention is um, the difference between buying rough cut timber and buying um, something that's been planed. This is called planed timber. It means that they've sanded it down and it's very flat and it's very straight. All right, so rough cut timber is what I've decided to make my bed out of. All right, so what we're seeing here, some very, very, it's like seven and a half centimeters deep. That's uh, about three inches. Uh, very, very big, very, very heavy. And one of the big mistakes I would say one of the big mistakes is um, it's much much cheaper to buy rough cut wood it's much cheaper I mean it's not half price or anything but I mean you probably save 20% <clears throat> maybe even 30% uh, I'm buying rough cut instead of planed timber now the main reason I buy rough cut wood is because it is cheaper what you can do though and this is what I'm doing uh, is to sand it down and you know, sort of take the edges off and then start to create a, a surface that you know you can touch without getting any splinters these are the top parts of the bed uh, this will be the top rim and uh, I've sanded these down pretty well but the thing is you know again although I've sanded them down you can still see the the giant uh, blades you know where the teeth of the saw would have cut through the wood I'm going to keep sanding this as much as I can and try to sand it down to a point where, uh, you know, it's actually one surface and it's smooth. That's the ideal. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be very nice to touch. I mean, look at this stuff here. Uh, I don't know if you can see the detail, but all kinds of snags and rough ends. And this is the kind of stuff, it's a real nightmare once you start routing uh, or, or trying to do the edges, you're going to find all of this kind of rubbish on rough cut timber. Uh, it's also called rough cut, it's got rough cut for two reasons. Rough cut because look, you can see the saw blades where it literally cuts through um, this, this giant piece of wood here. So that's a rough cut. But rough cut also has a second meaning which you will not be happy about which I discovered the hard way rough cut also means it might not really be square uh, I've noticed that a couple of these you know like say this one for example 
this side is just slightly shorter than this side um, that it needs to be planed so it's perfectly flat you see it looks kind of flat but there are so many grooves and ridges in there and you can see all of this sort of uh, horrible splintery material that wants to happen you would save yourself days this is day two of sanding you'll save yourself days of sanding if you buy planed timber it does cost more but you're gonna save yourself a lot of mess a lot of trouble you don't need to get your router out you don't need to sand anything you just need to uh, saw the wood down to size and uh, when you're buying planed timber I'll show you the difference the slats of the bed uh, I bought them already planed because you know I didn't want to sand all of these I don't know if you can see but it's even it's even shiny shiny by how much it's been sanded and the edges are so good I mean you can make furniture from this stuff because it's so square so sharp um, I've sanded the the ends of them are from where I've cut them so you can see there's a line and then I sanded just around where the cut is so that there's no splinters coming out going into the mattress but clearly this planed wood is so ready to be used uh, you know all the edges are square all the pieces of wood are, are flat and straight don't let them get wet and uh, sometimes if you work outside the humidity can change the boards a little bit uh, one other thing I'm gonna make this bed I'm gonna do the sanding part today I'll show you the, the actual making of the bed in a different video but there is so much work to be done here I bought 60 sheets 60 sheets of uh, the sanding block or the sanding paper stuff and uh, it wasn't too expensive or anything but uh, the work is a lot I have to wear two pairs of glasses I have to wear uh, this because of the noise I have to wear the gloves and uh, I sometimes wear a dust mask but the problem is with the dust mask uh, if I put it over the glasses the glasses hold in position quite well but then they start to fog up because of the breathing into the glasses um, when it comes to uh, putting the glasses on the outside of the dust mask they start to slip down and the sweat from my ears makes it slippery and my glasses are falling off all the time and I can't do the job I've ordered a, a full face mask uh, on uh, eBay hasn't shown up yet but I have to do this work because the mattress will be here in a couple of days and it means I have to put this bed together um, this is a staging ground you know so I'm gonna the wood has already been cut to, to the right sizes sand everything down so there are no sharp edges and no splinters which basically this wood is just splinters if you look real close uh, it's not going to be something you want to touch with your bare hands so I have to sand down all of that. I'm not going to bevel this edge. I like the sharp edge, at least for the bottom of the frame. The top edge has all been beveled. All of these edges have been rounded off, so they're nicer to touch. But again, these need another day of sanding too. So this afternoon is going to be a whole day of sanding. I'm not going to bother filming all of that sanding because it's pretty boring to watch. It's not much fun to do either. Um, and next time I will be buying planed timber even if it costs double the raw cut I will buy planed timber because it would simply save you days of work and you know hours and hours of just you know sort of sanding away and grinding away trying to make it uh, nice to the touch when if you buy it that way all you have to do is cut the wood and maybe just sand the butts so that they don't um, splinter out and I mean all they want to do is splinter out so they need to be sanded if you want to touch them everything you touch has to be smooth when it comes to furniture uh, there shouldn't be anything that uh, stabs you or grabs you or hurts you <laughs> so the sanding is uh, extremely necessary I'm just a little bit annoyed at myself that I gave myself days worth of work uh, just by saving a few dollars and buying rough cut timber um, I'm not unhappy with the look of it 
I'm sure once I sand it down a bit and then add some stain, it's going to be nice. Uh, but like I said, raw or rough cut timber is cheaper, but um, it's more rudimentary. It's not square, uh, it's not smooth, uh, the edges might not be that good. Uh, so buy yourself planed timber uh, in whatever kind you're going to use for, say, furniture, beds, things like that. Planed timber is the way to go. Rough cut timber is for infrastructure. That's rough cut timber. So I've, I've stained it so it's protected from the elements. Rough cut timber can be for infrastructure. Rough cut timber can be for um, building things. Uh, and of course you want to wear gloves because you know this is the kind of stuff I'm doing. But when it comes to your furniture, don't cut corners and try to save dollars by buying this raw, crazy, splintery, rough cut wood. Save yourself the time and effort and go and get yourself some planed timber. All right, I'm gonna be making a video about the bed very soon. Uh, I'm gonna be building that probably in the next day or two. I'm gonna sand it all down, put it all together out here and then reassemble it up in the bedroom because it's up on the third floor. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between rough cut timber and uh, planed timber. And clearly you can see if you're gonna to touch it, it should be smooth. If it's going underneath something, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. This is John Green on Green Ideas right here in my Irish garden. Thanks for subscribing. Tune in.